What's up guys, Technoba here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using a portal gun. A portal gun is a fun and easy to use teleportation plugin for your server. While it may be a little overpowered for a large server, it's perfect for you and a few friends to play around with. To install a plugin, head over to the plugins section on your Server Pro dashboard. Select the Spigot tab and search for a portal gun. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. This plugin adds a new item and crafting recipe to your server. You can get a hold of the portal gun by using a slash portal gun and grabbing it from the inventory that pops up if you have the permissions. Or you can craft it using two stone, two obsidian, two weighted pressure plates, and an emerald. If you're familiar with the game Portal, then you probably already understand what's going on here. For those who aren't, this portal gun tool allows you to create two portals, one by left-clicking and the second by right-clicking. These portals are two-way, meaning you can enter and exit through either one. You can place them on any side of a block, and by crouching and pressing left or right-click, a settings window pops up where you can change the color of both the portals. Note that you'll need to place them again for the color to change. The third and last feature of this plugin is that if you drop the item with your drop key while looking at a block, you'll pick it up with a gravity gun. From here, you can take the block wherever you want. Press drop again and it'll drop to the ground. This plugin allows you to transport things like spawners, which you otherwise couldn't. To drop the item, drag it out of your inventory or double tap the drop key. To create more than two portals, you'll need to craft a second portal gun. Quite fun. As for config, there isn't any. You add the plugin to your server and it works right after the first restart. If you locate a portal gun in your plugins folder and open portals.yml, you can view and change some portal data such as location and color. While you aren't able to restrict the portal gun's use, you can set up who can spawn the portal gun with slash portal gun by using the permission portalgun.command in a permissions plugin of your choice. But anyways, that's about it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything else, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.